guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking if you're new to my channel hi my name is kinky curly africa and you're welcome so guys in today's video we're going to be learning bread making the local way and um there actually uh there are actually a few steps involved in bread making the local way so in today's video we'll be exploring the first step which is the mixing of the dry ingredients, the making of the dough, the rolling, and then the setting to rise. And then in the next video, we'll be talking about the baking process. So if you want to see how this goes, definitely want to keep on watching. Hey guys, okay, so it's one of the days. So on the bread making video, um, it's currently 2.30 right now and we are going to the dough mill to knead the dough for the bread. So I'm going with my auntie and yeah, let's just see how, what the place has in store. Sorry about the gunshots, they normally um, shoot the gun three times when someone dies during a funeral so yeah there are funerals in town normally for the weekend that's my auntie balancing the bowl on here this thing is a real skill guys it's a real skill here all right guys so we are at the mill now and what she's doing is this flying the sack and she's putting the she's mixing the dry ingredients with it so there's the nutmeg there's the sugar there's the yeast um there's milk dry milk i don't know if the other thing she poured was baking powder i'm not very sure of that and then she's just going to empty the contents of the sack into the mixing bowl um yeah and then she's going to add a little bit of water as the machine starts to turn and also there's margarine added the yellow thing you can see in the dough is the margarine they just cut it open and then they put the whole thing in there so as the machine is turned and it's mixing the butter has been mixed with it and then some milk is poured into the mixture and then they continue to turn and turn and turn um, as the powder forms gradually into a dough so what you see her doing is she's basically taking it to check the consistency to check if it needs more water and as it does so she's adding a little bit more at a time and then she continues to turn the bowl around and as you can see because of the water added the water is mixed with the flour and is gradually becoming a dough and then they'll continue to add more water little by little until it forms the smooth dough that is needed so as you can see the dough is forming gradually and gradually and then um the margin wrapper which is the yellow thing you're seeing in it will be removed after the whole content is out so when all the butter is out of the wrapper then it is taken out of the mixture i don't know why they do that but that's just how they do it so as you can see the dough is finally um, forming she continues to turn it and turn it until it is fully done and then the meal is put off yes so as you guys can see it's still turning and it's stopping because the um, dough is actually done so it's about to be transferred but then before then look at the consistency of the dough see how soft it's looking and it's forming clumps because um, So um, the dough is turned a little bit more until it's really nice and mixed. Um, this is how the meal looks like. It's actually very old. But then the dough meal um, 
is kind of joined to the rolling mill so they both work together simultaneously so what you see her doing is she's putting the dough um, together and pressing it so that she can take as much of it as a go at a go sorry and then it is then transferred onto this rolling table so she's just going to do that until she's transferred um, all the the whole content in the mixing bowl onto the table and then when they start to roll it you can see there's a little bowl of butter on the table it will be used to grease the dough before it is rolled in the machine um, so the gentleman basically takes some of the dough and then puts it through the machine adds a little bit of flour so it doesn't stick onto the machine and then he just keeps rolling it and pressing it rolling and pressing it then she he greases the machine with a little flour so it doesn't stick as well and then um she just he's just basically going to be adding the flour as the machine rolls it so that it doesn't stick together um i was actually scared because i felt like what if his fingers actually get stuck in the machine but he's a pro he's experienced and i think he's been doing it for so he basically does this while he puts the flour into the roller and then he continues to roll and press roll and press and then it is then um given to the lady to put in the sack and then press together so after that we come home and then we cut it into smaller pieces and then we start to put um, some flour onto the table and then in a bit we'll show you what we do with the flour that is put on the table but then in the meantime we just take two or three pieces of the cut dough and then you're just going to roll them it's it's kind of similar to how dumplings are rolled in the beginning when she starts so after I kind of putting it together it's pressed at the side and then with the palms of your hands you just roll it then you put it aside so um, what she's doing now is basically cutting a big chunk of the dough and then she's going to cut it again into smaller sections which we will be rolling again into the um which will be rolling again into the tiny bread pieces basically All right, guys, so now your girl is about to roll. She's learning. She's a student in a bread master class. <laughs> so um, she's basically giving me the dough, and she's showing me how I'm supposed to do it. So she's telling me I should just take two pieces or three, and then I'll just kind of pull them so that they kind of stretch a bit. And then I'll fold the top side over to the down part, and then press it so that it's closed tightly and then with the palms of my hands i will roll them until it looks like what they're doing and then i'll just put it on the table and pick another um do piece and continue like she taught me how to Alright guys, so now, as I said, the flour that we poured, we poured over the um, bread that we have rolled together to prevent them from sticking um, to each other. And then we are just going to put them 
in the tray for daddy and then in a mo moment i'll show you guys what daddy does with the bread doughs that he came with so yeah your girl is just having some fun rolling and i'm actually picking up pretty quickly so if you have a good teacher it's very easy to pick up it's very easy to do and yeah just have fun rolling and um so what happens is most women also use this as an opportunity to chat to share their stories to um it's like free therapy basically talk to each other find solutions to problems and then yeah it's a good time spent with your friends and family so now this is the um setting room that is just going to put the dough together and then um yeah she Hey right, guys, so um, he puts the dough on the table and then he has to space them out so that even when they rise and then um, when they rise, they'll still have room to be able to um, get bigger too, if that makes any sense. Basically, when bread dough rises, it becomes bigger. So you need to leave space so that um, when it becomes bigger, it will not um they step the other ones if that makes any sense all right guys so that's it um even i i guess all of us actually learned something new today we experienced how the local um do meal looks like the process is involved and yeah let me know which part of the process was your favorite let me know if you had any scared moments where you were scared certain things will happen and let me know if you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in part two love you guys i'll see you in the next one bye